Um, ended up being a game that I thought it would be, uh, to be quite honest, a scoring affair. Uh, the problem is um, we couldn't slow them down the first half. I mean, every possession it seemed like, except for the one they fumbled a the kickoff, uh, they scored points. And uh, you get behind early like that, um, we were able to catch, catch up uh, with, with our offense. Uh, but then in the second half, I think it was going to be a game where we adjusted some. They scored, I think, 10 points or something like that. And um, we got it tied up. Uh, they had the last possession before we could get the ball back and obviously uh, scored uh, with the field goal. Uh, our offense did a pretty good job moving the ball. Well, that, that was good to see. Defensively, this is, this is, um, this is a tough one for those guys. Uh, they had been pretty good in three weeks, and then all of a sudden they give up uh, 34 points in one game. That's, that's a lot of points. To a team that has a, the high-powered offense, uh, the problems we ran into obviously were obvious. Uh, couldn't put pressure on the quarterback. He made a bunch of unannounced plays, plays that, um, you know, they're not scripted, uh, leaving the pocket at some, just extending, extending the play, and he did a nice job uh, of doing that. So got to give these guys a lot of credit. Came in here and uh, played good enough to win. Greg Moore, Arizona Republic. Uh, Coach, how tough is this one? How frustrating is this one? Oh, it's tough. Anytime you lose, it's always tough. Uh, you know, you have, uh, have a mindset of you, you, you put yourself in position to win. And, and what I told the players was this. I said, when you look back at this game, there's going to be five or six plays if you make. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But that's how the game goes. And when you're in tight games like this, and uh, there was a couple plays on offense. If you make, maybe we keep going and extend the drive. Maybe not. Uh, defensively, um, the one, that, the, the killer one was third and uh, 14 or something like that. We had them backed up and we let them get out and they scored on that drive. So they, they were on both sides of it, um, uh, it, it was opportunities missed. And when you play in a game like this, it's a scoring affair. Um, you got to make a play, whether it's on offense or defense, to change the, the momentum of the game. And uh, we, weren't be able, we weren't able to do that um, on either side of it. Uh, <clears throat> Carson Roberts, Inferno Intel. Um, obviously, the defense uh, had an out-of-character game today. Uh, what did they learn? I hope so. Yeah. I hope it's not in character. <laughs> um, what do they learn after a game like this, and uh, what do you tell them? Well, I don't know if they uh, – you, you ate some humble pie. Um, and humility, you know. That's our saying, you know, when we win or lose, is stay humble and hungry, you know. And – I think when you go through a game like this where it was an offensive show, I mean, both teams had over 400 yards of offense. Uh, so that, that's a lot, of, a lot of yards, a lot of everything, and you just got to look at it and got to get it corrected. We got a fast week coming up. Um, we have to leave on Thursday, and so um, we're playing a good team. Cal's 4-0 now and uh, got a very stingy defense. They, they, they play well. Uh, they'll be excited about playing us. It's a, it's a conference game. And um, we got to get ourselves ready to go play. Uh, Jesse Morrison, Devil's Digest. Was this the game you wanted to see from Eno? Well, I don't know so much. You know, Eno's been playing pretty good. Uh, I think sometimes we, we look at the yards. I mean, going into last week, he actually had more yards last year at this time than he did you know, last year. So I just think, you know, Eno's one of those guys that going into the season, we knew that people would stack the box and try to make the young quarterback beat him. That, that was, that's the mindset of, of, of people, you know, the, the type of year Eno had last year. So I thought tonight uh, he ran the ball almost 400 yards. Uh, he made some good catches. Uh, he got into the end zone. He's been scoring touchdowns for us, which is good. Um, so I think hopefully we can build on this and continue to be balanced on offense. We have to get more balanced on offense. Uh, you know, you don't want to be, be too pass happy, but you got to be able to run the ball as well. Uh, Coach Henry Steiner, AZ Sports Box. So last game uh, against Michigan, absolutely defensive battle. State. Um, yeah, Michigan State, absolutely defensive battle. What was it like going from that game to this game where there wasn't even a punt until the second half? Uh, it wasn't surprising. I had the mindset it was going to, it was going to be getting to the 30s. That's just, it's just, you watch them enough and you just say it's going to be that kind of game. You know it and, and it, it didn't let me down because I watched it unfold. And the problem was early we didn't score any points. You know, we, 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 they were up 14 before you could take your hat off and sit down. And um, we made a good comeback to get it, 
to get it within reason. And then it, it, I felt like who was going to make some plays on defense, a stop here or there, was going to dictate who won this football game. And uh, they had a big stop, the interception. Uh, we had a drop pass on the third down. Uh, so you got to give them credit. You know, they, 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 they made some plays. Uh, we missed some opportunities. Uh, and um, the, the, the key to this game was this. The quarterback had a lot of time to throw. A lot of time. I mean, and that's not, that's not fun with a quarterback that can throw the ball like this guy. And so we got to find a way to get to the quarterback. You know, if, if we don't, it's going to be a long year. We're going to have to score a lot of points all the time. And if we got to do that, that's how we got to do it. But um, we have to find a way to make the quarterback uncomfortable. He wasn't very uncomfortable tonight. Adam Noel, Inferno Intel. Coach, nine different players had receptions for you. For you. Mm -hmm. What does that speak to Jaden's ability to be a distributor and find those open receivers? Well, I think the more he plays and the more comfortable he becomes with, with the cast he has around him, um, you know, you'll see that. I mean, and Jaden's a guy that uh, he does a pretty good job of reading coverage, uh, and he'll get it to who he needs to get it to, obviously. Um, he missed a couple throws, he'll tell you that. He had a couple running wide open, and we just missed them. So, um, but you can't ask any more out of this kid. I mean, he's, he's, done a, he's done a really good job for being a freshman. And uh, to have a night like he did tonight was pretty good. And I, you know, we came up a little short. But um, I'm glad he's on our side. Uh, he's going to be a good player. Uh, we got to help him, though. Coach, you've got a really young team, as we all know, yeah. and these guys are going to put it behind them and move on, but you probably want the loss to sting a little bit. How do you balance that? What are you going to tell them? Well, it, it can hurt up till tonight and tomorrow, and then after that, it's got to go because we got to get ready. You know, you can't, you can't dwell on them, you know, and I, I, it'll eat me up all tonight, and um, I'll be back in there early in the morning watching the tape. Man, I, I might not go home to get, the, get that tape over with and just be done with it. So I can start on Cal, and um, it hurts. You know, it hurts to lose, especially this here again. We it's a one score game. It's, I hope we don't get into that again this year. One score games, win some, lose some, and that's like oof. But you got to give Colorado credit. Uh, you know, they came in here and did a nice job in the first half of getting some points on the board, and then, you know, by doing that, you gain a little confidence, and and that and that's good. When you go on the road, you want to get points early if you can. And they were able to do that on the first drive. They took the ball and went right down and scored. And then got another score. And then finally we got our offense going a little bit, which is, which is good to see, finally, that, that we got our offense going. And then we got to keep it going now. Michelle Gardner, Arizona, Arizona Republic. Uh, Coach, what was your take on the inter interception that Jaden threw? And obviously he, he's a young guy, and this is probably the most adversity he's faced at this point. Well, um, the coverage is pretty good. He tried to fit one in there tight, and the guy made a good play. I mean, it's, you know, that's, that's, that, that's best ball. I mean, but he's done a lot of good things. And, you know, when he throws the interception, everybody's not wanting He threw, finally threw interception. Yeah, well, okay, he's going to throw some interceptions. He's, that's going to happen. Hopefully he doesn't throw a lot of them, but um, you live through it. Uh, we, we got through it. It didn't hurt us. We made him punt, so it didn't, didn't cost us anything. But we were, we were inside the 40, and so if you move it down there, maybe you score. Maybe you kick a field goal. Maybe you score a touchdown. I don't, I don't know, but... You know, those hurt you when you when you get inside the opponent's 40. You don't want to turn the ball over. And he knows it. He, he, he walked up to me. He said, Coach, that's on me. And I said, partner, no, it's not. I said, you know. I, and a couple other guys said, Coach, I should have made the play. Guys, it's a team deal. Don't worry about it. we got to get over and we got to move on. That's what we'll do. Thank you, folks.